All right, so today's little lesson, tutorial, trick, tip, however you want to look at it, is all about kind of customizing the Finder screen. So this is the Finder down here, and this is how you bring up the Finder, and of course the Finder actually grants us access to parts of the hard drive that we need to get our files from. So by default, when you click on the Finder, we get a Finder window, and you'll see that you go to this All My Files section which literally just shows you everything. Um, and that can be really useful for certain people, uh, especially people that maybe don't have a lot of files or don't know where their files are. But for someone like myself who knows where they put their files and really just wants access to the specific location that their files are in, uh, this doesn't work overly well. So a few things that you can do here. So for one, this side down here is called the sidebar. <coughs> and we're going to go all the way up top. So this is a Finder window. We're going to go up to the actual menu bar here, and you'll see it says Finder. And when we click on Finder, we have a Preferences. So once we go to Preferences, I'm going to bring this into the center here, and I'm going to close. I'm going to close my Finder window before behind there. You'll see an area called Sidebar. So this is an important area because it allows us to customize what that sidebar in the Finder window has on it. So first off, I don't like this on my files, and this is all personal preference, so this is completely up to you guys. I'm going to turn that off. Uh, iCloud Drive, I don't actually use right now, so I'm going to turn that off. Um, movies, music, pictures, I use on occasion, but the big one for me here is this one that has a house on it, and this is called the home folder, and for me, it has my username. For you, it may be your own name or whatever your user's name is, so I'm actually going to turn that on. Um, down here, uh, kind of go through it and make the decisions. I'm going to now go down with the finder, and when I open it, you'll actually see this area looks the same, but this area has changed a bit, so you'll notice I don't have the, all my files there anymore, and I do have this home folder showing. Thing is, though, is I would like to actually start when I open my Finder window on this home folder. That's where I would like to be, because this is really where all my files are being stored. So I want to start here, not start in the all my files section. So I'm going to close this once again, and you'll actually see at the very top here, there's a general. And under the general, a few things you can do. You can actually, for one, show these items on your desktop. So if you want to be able to see your hard drive, you'll see I turned that on and my hard drive showed up over here. For basic users, I would probably say this is not the greatest idea. So that's why it's kind of turned off. External disks, that's good. So if you plug in a USB stick or an SD card or anything like that, it'll show up on the desktop. So you probably want that one. CDs, DVDs, same kind of thing. If you want those to show up, now modern day MacBooks and iMacs don't have CD players attached to them, so you could turn this on or off, it really wouldn't matter. But the big one for me here is this new Finder window show. So by default, it's that all my files. I don't want that. I actually wanted to do this learn for me, my learn to Mac, my, my home folder. So what happens now is I'm going to close this, and when I open up the Finder window, you'll see that it automatically comes into this, which is great, because now I can go wherever I want to, where I know I've placed my files. So if I'm looking for a document, I can just go open my documents. If I'm looking for something to get downloaded, just go to my downloads, etc., etc. I like that because this is a good way of staying organized, because you know where your files are and you know where to go get them. Um, the All My File section can be really useful for certain people just not for me. But use that, use that preference file. So this preference is here. This allows you to customize this. Now as a little side, uh, pretty much every piece of software you have on your computer will have a preference file and allow you to go in and make modifications to that software. A lot of it will be appearance based, but it can be on how the software actually works. Uh, don't go crazy in there. Make sure that you turn something on, look at what it does. If it's good, keep it on. If it's not, turn it off. Then proceed. Um, if you go in there and just turn everything on or off, then you could be in a big, big heap of trouble because, of course, you don't know what you did and it's hard to get it back to the way it was. There you go, guys. There's a nice, simple trick on how to customize the finder so that it kind of operates the way you want it.
Hopefully you guys are enjoying these, and if you are, please make sure you subscribe below. Uh, and comments, tell me what kind of software or what kind of uh, information you'd like to know next, and we'll see if we can make a video in regards to that. Till then, we'll talk to you guys later.